Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to use Vimeo extension on Chrome to record your screen. Right now, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to demonstrate how I do that. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is get the extension for Vimeo. Then you'll be able to see it right here at the top. There is the V. It stays out. Okay, so um, here we go. These are the extensions. Notice I have made these pinned so that I can see them. So if I've pinned all of these. You can pin your other ones when you go into Manage. So pin your extensions if you use them or at least those that you use on a regular basis. So let's click on the V for Vimeo. And this is what you get. It says, allow camera and microphone access to record yourself. Now, I love this because um, it's really attractive. It's appealing. So let's skip all that. And notice what it says here. There is the recorder right here. And notice the other information. My mic currently is off, and so is my camera. So let's enable all of that. Notice I also got a message. Let me move this over here that asks me to allow the screen and webcam recorder. Notice it's asking for my microphone and my camera. So make sure that you click on allow so that everything turns on. And there it's turned on. Now I'm going to change my camera. Notice it's FaceTime. I'm on a Mac. I'm going to change that to my other camera. So notice now the camera is Logitech. Oops. Every time I I do that, okay, so now the camera, notice, is uh, Logitech, and the audio is also Logitech. I might want to change that. So let me make that change. Uh, let me go back. So it changes. Um, even though it's working, I might make that either internal. Let me see what the options are here. I'm going to log in. That might make things... Better. Notice what I have here. I can use my webcam both and my screen, just my camera or just the screen. So this is what it looks like with just my camera. Okay, and both. And just the screen gets rid of the camera. Okay, so let me log in to my Vimeo. I'm going to log in with my Google. Vimeo has an amazing infrastructure and the navigation is pretty good. I mean, there's always room for improvement for people who are not used to Vimeo or not used to uh, different platforms. Okay, so uh, I'm going to change the... Uh... Notice I am starting, so start recording. There's the number. I can move my... Uh photo there. Okay, anywhere I want. And notice I can also hopefully get rid of it during uh, the recording. If I stop the recording, will I be able to do that? I guess not. Okay, so um, whatever I recorded, now I have a chance to share it, even though I haven't or have I logged in. I'm not sure whether I logged in or not. Okay, so notice here, it's a private link right now, but I can open it up and make it public or password. Notice all these options. I can make it public, I can have a password, or only me. Okay, in this case, I think that I would opt for only me at this time. Notice I also have a link that I can copy. I can get rid of it. I can upload it on my computer system. And there are other settings here. I can also add a description. I haven't given it a name actually. And I can view these settings but only on Vimeo. So I need to actually go into Vimeo. And this time I guess um, I'll know if I'm logged in or not. 
Okay, so it says only me, and I see that I am indeed logged in. Not sure whether the login was made through the extension or not. Okay, so let me go back to the extension and view that. Okay, I'm going to check and see whether it's happening. Let me try to make it public. It connected me somehow. The question is, okay, so now it's ready and it's ready as public. I haven't done very much. I can also send it. Notice here, as I said, I love uh, Vimeo's layout. It's really, really pleasant. Very nice looking. All right, so I don't know what's over here because it's on the side. Let's see if I can move this. I guess, okay, I clicked on it. Quickly copy and share the link to your video. Okay, so let's see what else is here. Uh, we've got, this is on the Vimeo side. So everything is ready here, but I would like to go back to the extension. Notice um, it's still open and I'm still recording, even though I thought I stopped. So the recording is still going on. Oh no, I haven't really started. It's just getting ready. Let me see what else is here. The record. Oh, I guess I am connected. Great, because I see my photo now. Okay, wonderful. So I'm connected and I can start the next recording. Uh, one of the questions that I got was, how long can I record for? I think this is a valid question. I'm not really sure, but I think it's uh, indefinite for as long as I wish. You can also add your team if you upgrade, but that's not on the extension. So here on the extension, um, there's no information here. But it is connected to my account now. So that's it. All right, so let's just listen to it and uh, get a feeling of the sound. So here goes. There's the number. I can move my um, photo there, okay, anywhere I want. And notice I can also hopefully get rid of it during uh, the recording if I... Okay, not... okay let me There's stop the that. Number. I found okay. it very clear. Back. Next is editing. Okay, which would be better to edit with? And is more cost effective. Screencast-O-Matic or Vimeo. All right, that's our next video, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the comment box below. And remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.